Hello and welcome to JavaScript in less than three, where I describe JavaScript concepts in under three minutes. Today we're going to talk about a string method called to lowercase. Uh, as the name suggests, this basically converts the entire string or everything you enter into it uh, to lowercase characters. So in case you're not clear what that means, um, let's put in some camel case characters. Um, let variable name, this is an odd one. So you might have noticed that there tends to be this uh, in JavaScript, we tend to do things with camel case, which is we start lowercase and then we put a capital letter and then we continue like that, let name input is whatever, like this, we always start with capital letters that way. So let's start variable name equals. This is in camel case, yeah? So if we then put that into Let's say variable name dot to lowercase. Here it is, to lowercase. Yeah, this would then be, this is in camel case, which clearly is not anymore. So frankly, it's lying to you. And um, that's unacceptable, frankly. <laughs> Just joking. Okay, so then we've got to demonstrate that this actually maintains punctuation and spacing. So let's do something a bit more complex. Um, let sentence equal Hello to all um, the presidents and vice presidents in the room, exclamation mark, right? If we do sentence dot to lowercase, oh gosh, I have to type this all out again, don't I? Hello to all the presidents and vice presidents in the room is what it will return. So you can see everything is in lowercase. We still have spaces. We still have dashes. We still have exclamation marks. The only thing that changes is what case it's all in. Um, important to note here that this is a method. It doesn't take any parameters. And by that, I mean nothing goes in between these brackets. The brackets are always empty, but they must be included. Yeah, if you don't include these brackets, it basically will not execute properly. So we just put the string as a variable or we can just put it straight in and we use dot to lowercase. Now when I say we can put it straight in we could also say hello <laughs> dot to lowercase like that and it would return oh sorry it would yeah would return um, hello just like that. So we can also do it directly uh, but generally speaking you'll be putting them into variables or constants so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, so that's all from me. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.